So I recently watched Indiana Jones 5 or Indiana Jones Dial of Destiny and well this movie is kinda underwhelming. I was the first Indiana Jones when I was a kid so I liked that movie. The second one was bad in my country so last month I watched it for the first time. The third one was also good and the fourth one everyone hates but I did enjoy that cause that was the first Indiana Jones movie I saw. And all in all I was excited for this movie. But in the Cannes festival the critics who saw the movie were like this movie is back and before watching the movie I had a very low bar and I'm surprised that even with such a low bar I didn't like this movie because this movie is anything but a good Indiana Jones adventure. Now Indiana Jones movies are like structured in such a way where Indy goes on an adventure, something happens and we are introduced to other characters who helps Indy throughout the plot. This movie starts off pretty well because the first scene where Indy goes on an adventure was pretty amazing. It was like in line with other Indiana Jones movies and I was really excited but the rest of the movie is downhill from that. Now this movie has a weird way of making every character annoying for some reason. Indiana Jones himself is a grumpy old dude who lost his son, had a divorce with his wife, is going to retire and the students don't enjoy his, his classes and everything was going pretty dull until Phoebe Waller Bridges characters show up who who is daughter of Indiana Jones's friend whom he didn't know existed. Phoebe Waller Bridges character is very annoying and most of the time she is like kind of an asshole and she is written in that way because the whole thing making arrogant female characters is appealing for some reason. But that's not the case. Without spoiling much about the movie I can say, Phoebe Waller Bridges character steals something from Indiana Jones and wants to sell it and become rich. But things go south cause that artifact is the Dial of Destiny which Matt Mickelson's character wants cause he wanna go back during the World War 2 so that he could change certain events and win the war for Germany. But due to certain mistakes, they end up in ancient Rome where the last act of the movie happens is pretty underwhelming. Harrison Ford and Phoebe Waller-Bridge doesn't have a good chemistry so you are going to feel that in the movie. This movie does feel kinda boring after the first 20 minutes. So all in all, I don't recommend watching this movie. If you wanna watch this movie, maybe wait it out. You'll get it on Disney Plus cause this movie doesn't have anything special so that you have to rush to the theaters to watch it. If anything good about this movie, it'll be the first 20 minutes which is not enough. I watched it for making YouTube content. Other than that, I wouldn't have watched it myself. And the more I talk about this movie, the more this video will be me bitching about this movie so i guess that's enough for today's video and hope to meet you in the future till then like this video subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and family and anyone you want